Character on Track presents Champions on Track, connecting local champions of character to the classroom. Courage. Today's topic is courage. It takes courage to have character. Today's program is being sponsored by Now, let's meet some of our champions. I'm Madison, and you might see me at basketball games because I do girls basketball stats. Um, I also participate in golf. I'm in FFA and I'm in 4-H. And uh, my favorite memory from elementary school was rally day when you got to, especially the field day events where you got to throw the softball and do the rope jumping. That was always my favorite. And um, after school, I planned to go to South Dakota State University and major in animal science. Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Franson and I'm in, I do volleyball and I also help with basketball stats. I am the FFA secretary and the host of president and my college plans are to attend MTI, Mitchell Technical Institute, for nursing. There, I'm Madeline Hofer, and one of my favorite classes in school is music. So I'm in band and chorus, and I also take piano lessons. And this year, I'm going to be Elsa in our school musical, so you should definitely stop by and see that. And I also do golf, and I am FFA vice president. I'm on the quiz bowl team, and when I was in elementary school, my favorite subject was actually math. And one of my favorite memories from my elementary school is when we would play magic and tag on the playground. I don't know if you guys can play magic anymore, but that was always one of my favorite games. And in college, I'm planning on going to Dort University in Iowa. Character on track. What is courage? Courage is doing the right thing, even if it's difficult. It's facing your fears with confidence, being brave. What does courage look like? It's doing the right thing, even if others are not. Bravely dealing with daily challenges. Courage is being willing to try new things, even if you might fail. Courage is telling the truth, even if there are consequences. It's facing fears and working to overcome them, admitting your mistakes and learning from them, and courage is not giving in to negative peer pressure. Who has courage? Certainly teachers and school officials, firefighters, law enforcement, Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King, people in the military, and even kids with character. Where do I find courage? Believe it or not, it's inside you right now. Being brave is in there. But courage may not always feel like courage. From the outside, it may look powerful and thrilling. Sometimes, from the inside, it can be scary and unpredictable. Courage and fear are always together. If you don't have fear, you don't need courage. Courage is something inside us that makes us push through fear and doubt. It helps us to do the things that seem a little risky. Sometimes it only lasts for a few seconds, but it's long enough to be brave. Something else to know about courage. It takes courage to have character. Sometimes you don't see the results right away. Making a difference may take a little time, but if you had courage to do it, you will see a result. Our champions of character show character and courage every day. So let's hear from them right now. What is courage? To me, courage is standing up for what you believe in and doing the right thing. So maybe you're walking in the hallway and you see somebody getting pushed around. Um, you need courage to stand up to them and say, hey, maybe don't do that. Or maybe you're going to eat lunch and you see somebody sitting and eating alone. You can have courage and go eat with them. And it may seem kind of scary, but you can do it. Courage looks like getting outside your box and doing something that you've ne you wouldn't normally do. Um, one time I participated in dairy cattle judging and I stepped outside of my box because I haven't really been on a dairy farm before. It's not, I don't see cows on the daily. 
but I went and I judged them for the first time. It was scary and I got last place, but I stepped outside my box. But I also continued and I judged at state. One thing that you need to take from this is everyone's going to make mistakes, but it's okay and you just need to learn from them. Personally, find courage in others. It's really important that you encourage your friends to do their best and you can find your strength in them. Um, one time in elementary school, I am not good at running and I hate running and we always had to run the mile, right? So I'm running the mile. I'm like the last person out there. I still have one lap to go. And it was really encouraging to me because my friends, they came out and ran my last lap with me and that gave me strength to make it through. Hey, well, I need courage. To me, I need courage every day to face my fears and step out of my comfort zone. Um, one time when I was younger and I was first joining FFA, I watched the officers kind of lead the meetings and I thought I would never want to do that because it looked so scary and they had to talk in front of everybody and it would be so scary to do that. But I had courage and I decided to um, do an interview for one of the officer positions and I got it and I actually loved it and now I am the president of the FFA and it's not scary at all anymore and I really had to step out of my comfort zone to do that and now I love it. So you must, you got to face your fears, but you may come out just happier that you did it. I know that I have courage. I step outside my box and I do things that I wouldn't normally do on the normal. Um, I also go and I sit by people who are sitting by themselves. Um, one time I knew I had courage when I became a CNA. I was really nervous. I didn't know anyone that worked there. I thought they were going to make fun of me and they were going to be like you didn't do this, but I had courage and I took a leap and I started and now I love being a CNA. Think of courageous people. I like to think of people like my grandpa. He was in the um, he was in the Air Force and he was a pilot in the Air Force. But someone else that I think of that is super courageous is if you know the, the senior class at Freeman High School right now, you know that we're kind of a handful. So any teacher that has ever had to deal with us <laughs> Um, they would, they definitely had a lot of courage to make it through. Character on Track. At Character on Track, we believe every student and adult has the ability to have and show good character. We have five marks of character we focus on. Trustworthiness, respect, accountability, citizenship, and kindness. These are parts of your character, but do you know what it takes to have good character? It takes courage to have character. We all want a school where we feel safe, where we can ask questions and talk about our feelings. We all want a school where you get to be you. To do that, you have to stand up for what is right, be open to new ideas, and be ready to listen to others' point of view, even if you might not agree. Do you know what it takes to make your school be like this? It takes kids with good character and kids who are brave to do the right thing. It takes courage to have character. Inside each one of us is a leader. Maybe you're not the leader right now, but your time will come soon. Being a leader takes character and it takes courage. Our character will help us decide what's right and what's wrong, and that helps us make good decisions. Do you have good character? Are you trustworthy? Do you show respect all the time? Are you accountable because people can count on you? Are you a good citizen who wants to work toward making your school and your community a better place? And are you kind to other people? If you are, then you are a kid of character. And that's a great thing, but that's not all. Do you have the courage to have good character? Let's go back to our champions of character for more on courage, character, and leadership. Courage to have character. And one of the really important things you need to have character is to be trustworthy. To me, trustworthy means doing what you say you're going to do. And so if you make promises, you need to keep your promises. And it's really good to be honest. And that will help you be trustworthy. It takes courage to have character. You need to show respect. Respect is treating others the way you'd like to be treated. That's accepting others for who they are and helping them solve their problems.
and helping them be themselves and to step out of their box. To have courage, you need to be an accountable person. So when I say accountable, lots of you probably don't know what that means, but it means that you need to be responsible and you want to be someone that they are able to count on. So lots of times when you're doing a group project, I know this has happened to me before, your people in your group are not always accountable and you end up doing more than you're supposed to or something doesn't get done. And that's why being accountable is really important. It's courage to have character. And you need to be a good citizen. And to me, that means helping the community any way you can. So you can do your share to help make this school better by throwing away your trash and not leaving it everywhere. And you can also um, get involved. Um, you can volunteer. We have the community garden you can volunteer at. Um, you can also help at the food pantry or maybe just in your own neighborhood, you can help shovel somebody's sidewalk if there's snow. Or you can just go visit um, anybody that maybe can't get out of their house right now. You can just talk to them and make their day. Courage to have character. You need to always be kind. To me, kindness means using your manner, saying please and thank yous to the cooks or the custodians, and forgiving others for what they've did to you. Everyone makes mistakes, and you just need to help bring others up. Show them that you care. It takes courage to have character. Having good character means that you try to do the right thing. This means maybe even if it costs you something. This could mean that when your friend is help having problems with their homework, you stay inside and you help them out with it, even though that you don't get to go to recess. You can decide what's right and wrong. And to have good character, don't forget that you should be try to be trustworthy, respectful, accountable, a good citizen, and show kindness. Character on Track. It takes courage to have character. Today we talked about character and courage. We found out what courage is, and we also found out what it takes to have good character. Now what can you do? Well, first of all, look for opportunities to use your character every day. Maybe you remember a time in your past when you didn't stand up for what was right. Hey, we all make mistakes, but your courage gives you the power to do the right thing right now. How about your circle of friends? Do these people have the kind of character you'd like to see in yourself? Or maybe you've got some role models, like the champions of character from your school, and you can admire and learn from what they do. Put your character into action. Good character is built on what you do. It takes courage to have character. And the more you use your courage and your character, the stronger it will become. Now it's up to you. Do you have what it takes? Let's hear from our champions one more time. Last thing I want to leave you with is courage is standing up for what you believe in. And that may seem scary to face your fears every day and to have to get up and do things you don't want to do. But it's really important and it's important to have good character and to be trustworthy and respectful and accountable and a good citizen and kind and all those things that a good character would be that we just talked about. It's just really important. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want you to remember that some things are going to come easier, easier to you than they are for other people. But the things that come easy to you are not always going to come easy to other people. Remember that it takes courage to have character. I want you to step outside your box, go do something different next week, try something new, maybe thank the cooks or the custodians or even your mom and dad. Today, I want you to remember that anyone can be courageous. You don't have to be a superhero like Supergirl or Iron Man. You can be courageous through the little things in life. Today, I want you to go out and con 
compliment somebody or maybe thank someone at your school. I think that encouraging others is one of the best ways we can be courageous. I like it. Now all we have to do is figure out, ladies, how you want to do what you Today we talked about the many ways to have character. The five most important ways are being trustworthy, having respect, being accountable, being a good citizen, and showing kindness to others. And remember, the most important thing is it takes, takes courage to have character. character. All right, that's good. We can do that. All right, let me shut down and then we can talk a little. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our champions of character who helped us with this project. Also, our champions and all of us at Character on Track would like you to remember your character not only tells us who you are, but who you are going to become.